Hey, basketball coaches, if you are facing a 1-1-3 zone defense, yes, it's becoming more and more popular. So yes, you're not the only one having issues. So today, I'm going to be talking, talking to you about how you can beat the 1-1-3 zone defense. Let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check this out. But if you want to be able to stop that opposing team, make sure to go check out the Unbeatable Basketball Defense book in the link below because believe me that is not a popular defense and it is an absolute killer so go check it out and win more games let's get down to the clipboard let's check out these basketball plays against the 113 zone defense okay so if you don't already know really quickly in a 113 you're gonna have the point player who he's generally guarding that big of a space you're going to have player 2 who is guarding the high post, and you're going to be having player 4 who is guarding the wing, player 3 who is guarding the wing, and player 5 who is guarding the low post. Now, really quickly, as you can probably see already, there's some glaring big weaknesses in this zone. Let me show you. Number 1, the wings. Huge weakness. Another weakness is being able to swing this ball along the point because there's only one player guarding the point. This defense is made to disallow high to low passes in the key while still keeping players guarded out on the wings. But the biggest weakness is these elbows, these shoulders, these corners. So how are we going to beat this zone? Number one, we're going to pass over to player five, and player one is going to be forced to go and guard player five. Player one is going to go in and set a screen on player two, and player four is going to be popping up towards the point. That is when player five is going to be passing player four the ball, and we're going to be having player four, he should be able to get that shot off. If that shot is not able to get off and player one is quick enough to be able to defend that, what I want to see happen is player one and player five setting a screen down, a wall screen for player four. The reason why this is important is because player two is going to be popping up, player four is going to be passing player two the ball, and we're going to be now having player five go out towards this wing, player two one go towards that low post we want player two to take that shot now what's going to happen is if player four is not trained all that well and he tries to fight through and player one is obviously trying to get over to that spot to defend we now have player five open for a shot who can now pass into the low post now this could be a mismatch so instead of having player five go to the wing we could have player one cut out towards the wing and again player one could take that shot as well well and we are now having single coverage down low and we have pulled out this defense this is if we can pass the ball fast enough we need to make sure that we can pass the ball fast enough however as you've seen in these plays we got multiple shot opportunities from that area of the court which is going to be the area we're going to be focusing on for the rest of our plays now I really like the 5-out offense, motion offense, against the 1-1-3 zone defense. Let me show you why. We're going to pass the ball over to player 2. Player 1 is going to go over to player 2, and player 1 is going to cut towards the rim. By player 1 cutting towards the rim, we are going to be collapsing this defense. If they are collapsing, we now have two shots available. If they're not collapsing and they're staying in the low post, player 2 is guarding player 1, but player 1 has position on him, we could pass into player 1, and now we have collapsed the defense. We could have player 3 cutting from the weak side, we could kick out to player 5, We could, if we had player 4 collapsing as well, we could kick out to player 4, there's so many different options. But, let's say none of these options were open, or we never got that that ability to pass to player one we now have a defense that has still collapsed partially and now we can pass up to player five they're going to be trying to recover back into their zone player one is going to be then 
popping back up and let's say we screen away well now we have the ability to get player four open for a shot player two is going to be filling that spot we now have player four concentrated on player two we can get player five cutting towards the rim and now we've collapsed the defense again he can kick the ball out there are so many different options with the five out simple five out motion pass and cut which is what I was showing you here, the ability to pass the ball and cut. Then there's the ability to pass the ball and screen away, which in this case there isn't anybody, but if the ball was, as we've seen here, passed and he can screen away, that now preoccupies player four red to guard player four blue, and we can get a couple of opportunities there. Or we can pass and screen for the player which in this case if player two had the ball and he passed to player four well now we can have player two set a screen for player four player four and player two is going to roll towards the basket which is possibly going to be collapsing those players we can now have an opening in the high post for player two to or player three in this case to shoot or player two, if he was a bigger player, if we, let's say, had a player five down there, uh, we had this organized where we would have player five down here, we could do a high to low pass, player five would have position, or even player two, if he's big enough, could have position on player five red for the easy layup. Or for the ability to collapse that defense and kick it out to player one over here for a three-point shot or even a mid-range shot, he could take a step in, pass out. There's so many different options, it's fantastic. So there is a set play that you could run, but also a motion offense that you can run in what you probably already have in your arsenal, or at least a play that your players know because a five out motion offense is essentially one of the earliest plays that most players learn because it's simple. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Go check out the unbeatable basketball defense in the link in the description below. I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.